Essentially, all of these people are my favorite people, musicians in town in Boise. I've worked with most of them except for Dylan. This is the first time I've worked with Dylan, but a lot of them have been in various projects with me, such as um, Electric Coconut, which was kind of like an indie jazz pop thingy. So Nick was bass, actually playing bass in that band, and right now he's playing synth for this project. I don't normally play keyboards. It was a really cool opportunity to play with a bunch of people I really respect, so I was really happy to get the call. So Matt Fabi, I've worked with him in LED, which is a local performing arts nonprofit, and he plays bass in that band, and he plays bass in this band. It was cool. We played in, in other bands together, but I was super pumped when she reached out to me for this one because I always wanted to do like her music, and this is a, a really cool record to do a project. So, yeah. This is the first project that I've worked on with Dylan Eller, and I saw him play with his band, The Simplots, last summer, and was super blown away and was really interested in working with him. I, I prepared some remarks for this. Um, <laughs> five fret chord, three fret chord, transition. Yeah. I'm Dylan, oh. <laughs> And here we are with the drummer, Joe Steiner. Hey, uh, I play drums. <laughs> I'm really excited that we get to work with Jared Goodpaster on this record. He's going to produce and engineer the whole thing. He used to be my boss at Boise Rock School when he was a teacher there for four years. Yeah, he's kind of the secret of Boise. He's like one of the best producers in town, but no one really knows. And so I'm glad that he's our best kept secret. And um, yeah, it's my first time working with him in this way. He was, yeah, as I said, he was my boss before, but now we get to work more um, in an artistic, creative way together, and I'm excited.